How's it going guys? So very sorry for the wait, but here finally is my finished kit bash of HG Gym and SD Gym, basically taking the cross silhouette uh, gym, SD cross silhouette gym head and kit bashing that onto the HG UC ground gym and then shortening up the proportions of the gym a little bit. I did the full little kind of mini series, work in progress series going through uh, how I made that. So if you guys haven't seen that, feel free to go back uh, and watch that series. I covered a lot of basically everything that I could tell you guys about the gym itself. I will kind of recap everything in, in this video just to kind of, for those of you who maybe want a summary of that or haven't seen the work in progress videos. Uh, and then I'll talk about like the girl figure and things like that here uh, in a moment, but just to kind of have a general look over the d base diorama, I, I still don't really want to call it a diorama because it's not really a diorama in my mind, but I guess it is a diorama considering it's like a s scene of a space. So I guess we can call it a diorama, but anyway, uh, I think it came out pretty cool. I like that uh, I ended up going with the hole cut out in the center of the base, well not in the center, but having the hole cut out rather than having her legs dangling over the side. I think it was, uh, it would have been cool like the legs dangling over the side because that breaks, uh, breaks the space of the, like the confined space of the diorama. It goes outside the box, I guess, like literally there. But I think it's also pretty cool, pretty unique to have just the hole cut out and have her legs dangling down in the center there. Uh, looks pretty cool as well. I scratch built some little accessories, so I'll talk about that in a moment as well. Those are just there uh, next to her. And um, yeah, this piece is going to be for sale as well. So if you guys are interested in uh, purchasing this, just send me a message, preferably on my Facebook page, and let me know. And let me tell you guys a little bit more about this. Let me, let's me uh, let break it down and talk about it in, in sections here. So let's look at this the mobile suit here first. So in terms of the proportions and just overall look that this ended up coming out with, I'm really happy with this. The color, I'm not s totally happy with. It, what I ended up using, if you guys didn't see the work in progress videos, was uh, AK Interactive paints, and they're, they're really good paints. There's nothing against the paints. I'm just telling you guys about it what colors I use, and I use their straight orange color. I think what I probably should have gone with is uh, this Gaia Notes color that I have. It's like a limited edition color. It's called Mandarin Orange. It's a little bit lighter than this. Uh, I think that was what I was originally intended on, intending on using, but I decided to go with this instead. I think I should have stuck with my original idea of using that paint. I think that would have looked a little bit nicer. But again, just to remind you as well, what I was originally basing the color scheme off of was the uh, P-Bandai HG Goog, uh, Boog, sorry, that uh, came out a little while back that was like all orange with just a few white and black parts. So I basically recreated that color scheme here on uh, the gym. The thing is though that the white portions of that are like the thighs and the upper arms are very small on this because of the design, the proportion changes that I made. So they're, the white parts are very small on there. So they're not as prominent as they are on the boog. Uh, so it just looks very orange overall, uh, which is cool and it's unique. And I, I like that it's unique. It's just a slight, the tone of orange is slightly off for me what I had in mind, but it's still the paint. Uh, I mean, it came out smooth, it looks good. Uh, it's pretty even coated as well, and so that's fine. And then the decals were also a lot of fun uh, to put on. I ended up using mostly gray for the decals, and then obviously a couple of white ones there for the big logos there, the kind of yin yang yoga, yin yang logo on the one side, and then the 201 logo on the shoulder and on the shield, and then that uh, Chinese character on there. Uh, someone said. Uh, what that meant. Now I'm suddenly drawing a blank. Uh, I can't remember at the moment. I'll try to remember if I can. I'll let you guys know. But yeah, and then also the shield and the bazooka are just from HG The Origin Daku kits. So those were just leftover parts that I used for that, uh, as well as the extra bazooka ammo there, obviously on the side skirts. Uh, so it came together pretty well. And I think overall, for a first attempt at trying a HG SD kit bash, I think it was a good learning experience came out pretty well and I'm definitely looking forward to doing some more uh, in the future. They're definitely a lot of fun to put together and they're really cool looking in the end. They're not quite SD but definitely uh, obviously different in proportions from just their normal proportions but I think they still look cool but also slightly cute at the same time. So that's cool. Hmm, the visor though, that was a bitch. Uh, I decided to hand paint that and I really should have just masked it and just <laughs> sprayed it because uh, it was really hard. It's such a big space. Uh, so to get a nice even coat uh, for hand painting that, I actually painted it and then had to, it was just a mess and I had to take it off 
and I had to do some repainting on that uh, with the orange, spraying that again, and then trying it again uh, to painting that. And I think what I did was I painted like some silver down and then some clear blue over the top of that. Ended up looking, it looks fine, but it definitely could have looked better. So I think that's the one thing that uh, I think definitely could have could have been better on this kit. But that's pretty much it. Again, if you want to know more just about the building process, so just make sure you go back and watch the work in progress series. Let's take a look at uh, the rest of the base and the girl figure here. Okay, so uh, about the figure, let's take a look at that first. It's not fixed in there, so I can just remove it very easily. Uh, painted the hair green. I think it looks cool in theory, uh, but again, it's uh, it's pretty unique. Ended up looking and then uh, painted a little bit of red there for the lips and like on the side of the eyes. I was kind of thinking back to like uh, Carta's, uh, Carta Issues makeup, how she had like the kind of red bit like off the side of her eyes. I thought that looked kind of cool. So a little something like that I did for this. And of course, just uh, pretty simple coloring there for the outfit. Put a little Matt K, you can do it. Uh, decal there on the back of her jumpsuit there, which is uh, kind of hidden behind the hair, but I thought that was a cool detail to add in there as well. Um, the eyes, actually for the eyes, I used these decals, if you remember these are the decals uh, that were given away in HLJ's recent um, kind of giveaway that thing that they had. If you bought certain Korobukiya stuff, they gave you uh, some of these decals. So these are 1 24th scale decals there at the bottom. They're meant to be for the Hexagear uh, character kits. But 1 120 scale, 124 scale, it's kind of close enough, so they ended up working out uh, pretty well. So I think these decals will probably be pretty useful for uh, 120 scale figures. Now, a lot of people who are much better at uh, figure painting than me would just paint the eyes, but I'm not really that good at it yet, so uh, just using the eye decals works out uh, pretty well for me. So I'm really happy that uh, those look like they fit pretty well, pretty nicely on that. So that's pretty much it, it's pretty simple. Uh, that came out pretty good, I think. And then, like I mentioned before, I just kind of scratch built some accessories here. We've got the uh, Starbucks coffee bottle, as well as a little chocolate, chocolate chip scone there on a plate. Uh, yes, that was... Uh, actually, originally, when I was kind of just originally just sculpting that just out of some extra... Um, uh, uh, extra putty that I was working on something else and I had some extra putty so I thought let me just make something and it was originally supposed to be a sandwich that's why it's like that uh, triangular shape but then I thought so oh, something else could be cool too so I was like oh make it a scone <laughs> and then made the little black thing there is supposed to be a little smartphone and then the obviously laptop there as well stuck some decals on there to look like sort of like uh, windows kind of open on the laptop screen and then also on this side of the like the top of the laptop that uh, logo uh, decal there that's actually from a Mechatro we go decal set so that's uh, from a Hasegawa Mechatro set so that is pretty much it just made some little kind of accessories for it, just to kind of uh, give the scene a little bit more personality there uh, and then just the, the if, again, if you saw the work in progress videos, I did show a little bit of the masking of that. So this like white and yellow uh, caution striping around the edge of that, that was masked. And then this big white bar there at the back, that was masked. And then I just threw some decals on here uh, as well, just to kind of add to that. And then had the little bar there. So that was pretty much it. And then again, in the work in progress videos, I showed about like kind of how I've just built the base. Uh, as for the wood part of the base, basically what I did was paint the whole thing in this uh, gray color and then sanded that to make it a little bit like kind of distressed looking. Painted some white across the bottom, sanded that, and then painted the orange band around there, which is not painted, not sanded. So mm, that would be looking nice and uh, bright around there. And so it ended up looking pretty cool, I think. As for the kind of slight weathering you can see like around the top of here, that was basically just uh, a mix of different washes and stuff just kind of slopped on there and wiped up and slapped some other colors on there and wipe it up so it'd be kind of like a natural kind of look to that and so uh, I'm pretty happy with how that came out as well. And that's uh, pretty much it. It's relatively simple, just kind of a collection of things on there to make an interesting little scene. Uh, I feel like there's also maybe a little bit disconnect uh, between the mobile suit and uh, the like the figure and like the rest of the diorama. The base there, it, it maybe seems like she's like kind of there working on something, and you got the mobile suit there, which is this big 
uh, bright orange, clean looking thing behind her. I think without any sort of context or backstory, it maybe looks a little bit disconnected uh, in terms of like setting a scene, creating a story. Uh, in my mind, I think I would justify that by saying that maybe she is just there working and this is like a new mobile suit there for them or something. I don't know, it really doesn't particularly matter. But uh, that is something that I do kind of like to think about in terms of like what is like the story of the setting. And this one, I think it maybe is a little bit difficult to kind of uh, very clearly come up with some sort of backstory uh, to like what is actually being seen here. But again, not really particularly necessary. It just has to look cool. And so there you go. If, if it looks cool, then that's the most important thing. Also, just a, a thing as well. I was recently just talking with uh, Lincoln about this is that I think it's just better that it's done than that it's perfect. Uh, with a lot of times we maybe uh, hesitate or spend a lot of time putting things off because we want things to be perfect, things that we're working on, but it's a lot more important, I think, uh, that you just are finishing things and you can always do things better and learn from mistakes and learn th from things that you may have wanted to change or things that you may not have been happy with the outcome of. Um, you can always do that different on the next time. There's always further builds and everything's like that. So. I don't want to make it seem like I'm not happy with this build. I, I, I really like how this came out. Uh, but there are some things that I, I maybe would have done different or I maybe would have uh, changed or something. But it's done and I think it, it's cool. So and now it's just on to the next project and there's a lot more projects to do. So that is, uh, that's a wrap on this one and we can move on to bigger and better and other fun things in the future. So uh, let me know what you guys think uh, down there in the comment section. Do you like it? What do you like about it? Do you not like it? What do you not like about it? Uh, any feedback, of course, is always welcome. And uh, thank you for that in advance. And again, if you're interested in purchasing the piece, just let me know. I'll very happily uh, work that out with you if you're interested. If there's something I forgot to cover, if you have any other further questions or something, uh, again, refer back to the work in progress videos, or if there's still something that you're wondering about, of course, feel free to ask that and I'll answer that as best I can. And as always, guys, just thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>